everyone, Amanda here, thanks for joining me. So I'm just on with creating some journals. So I'm making some ephemera and bits and bobs that I thought I would come and share um, what I'm doing. So I've got a piece of craft card here. It's a standard A4 sheet, but you could literally use anything and just adapt this idea. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've got a very basic idea of what I want to do in my head. And that is about it. And what I want is a tall, skinny, kind of an insert ephemera holder. Okay, you can never have too many ephemera holders. They're a bit like butterflies. So, um, most journal pages are, you know, they're not massive, are they? Um, so I'm going to keep it two, three inches wide. So bearing that in mind, I'm going to score at three. Okay, and six... And then I'm going to score at nine, I think. Yeah. So nine. All right. So let me just have a think. So I'm going to fold it in on itself so that it's like that. Okay, like a trifold. And then for the cover here, I want this to fold back on itself because I want it to imitate. Uh, one of the sections in my journal which has a full back section like this I'm waffling a bit but I know what I mean so what I want to do first of all this section here we need to just trim a little bit off because otherwise as it folds it's going to catch and it's going to get bulky okay so I'm showing you this I'm completely making it up as I go and this is how I make things for my journals um, you know, sometimes I'll get inspired uh, by what other people have done, but most of the time I just sit down with a piece of paper, see, you know, how it can fold and see what we can do. So then, you know, and just plan as you go, because through experience, I know that that would catch on there, so I need to trim it. Okay, <laughs> and then that's going to go like so. Now I'm going to have this folding over. I don't want it. The full width because I want to use it as maybe an extra tuck rather than a page this is going to be my cover so this measures three so I'm going to cut it down to uh, let me just think so if it's three I'm going to cut it to turn it that way I'm going to cut it I'm going to cut it, I only want it about one and a half, so I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut one and a half off, I'm cutting it, I'm cutting it in half, okay, and then I want it to have a tab as well, so I'm going to get my envelope punch board, okay, and I want the tab at the top, so I'm just going to turn it over, and I'm going to put it to about the... Where do I want my tab? So I'm going to put it on the one inch mark. I want the tab at the top, I think. Do I? Yeah. So I'm putting this edge here into the one inch mark and I'm going to punch. Then I'm going to move it along and this will measure how, how long I want the tab bit. Um, I want it to be... I'm going to go up to three. And that'll give me a two inch one. Okay. And then what I'm going to need to do is cut away there and there. So it's also reducing the size of this little flap a little bit more as well. Okay. Now I'll need to work with this. I've used quite thick um, craft card here because I want the colours to match. Um, you can get away when it's a trifold. You can get away using um, heavy paper. You don't have to use cardstock. I have to work with it and, um, you know, really score and burnish it to make it flexible so it's not as rigid, for want of a better word. Okay, so, so far we've got this, now I need to cut this away, alright. So, I'm going to do it in my trimmer actually because... I not very good at cutting straight so if I put that in my trimmer and just look where the curved part goes and put that on the line okay and then cut away there and then go up to you can always adjust it if it's not right 
Okay, it's not too bad, it could do with a little bit. Just to turn a bit more off on that side, I think. You'll have to excuse me if you can hear my dogs barking. They're just, um, well, they're just divvies. <laughs> For want of a better word. <laughs> um, right, so there we go. So now I've got my tab part. Um, so... Let me just make sure that that's all fairly straight. If anything looks like it's not straight, just adjust it. That doesn't look terribly straight there. Alright, so then that's that. So now I'm going to... <laughs> I don't know. Um, I want to decorate the inside of there and the inside of here with something fairly plain. But what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to, oh, shall I, shall I do that after? Right, so I'm going to line the inside there, okay? And then I'm going to line there. Now I want a plain, a plain one in the inside because we're going to have pockets filled with ephemera so you're not going to see it. And then here we want a decorative one. So let's have a look what I've got in my kit. I think you can't go wrong with using collage sheets. I'm going to use some of this collage sheet from my new kit which is called Victorian Ladies it's very pretty okay I'm just removing the white more okay so I'm fast forwarding several parts of the video because it was nearly an hour long at the end uh, which uh, you know we've got time to watch a video for an hour um, so yeah I'm using the beautiful collage sheet from the kit there to lay the front like I said and I'm using up some of this um, white glue that I absolutely detest but it needs using up. I'm using my tea stain um, distress ink or tea dye all the way around because I only want it subtle. I don't want to use um, you know anything dark like um, you know mahogany or anything like that because although it's vintage I don't want it to look grungy. So on the inside panels, they're going to be two and seven eighths approximately because each panel is roughly three inches. But don't forget the final panel uh, the, to the very far right is going to end up a little bit smaller because we've trimmed it so that it doesn't um, catch. Um, so I'm inking all the way around. Now you'll see that I don't fill the entire panel with that paper. There's no point wasting paper. There's going to be a pocket over the top. Uh, so to make my paper go further, I've uh, just cut it about three quarters of the way. Um, so it won't show over the pocket and you, you can see me there trimming that far right side ever so slightly more so that it doesn't catch um, and here I'm creating a belly band um, from the off cuts uh, where I reduced the uh, you know the little tab part on the first page I roughly dividing it into three by eye to make a triple pocketed belly band and I will glue it top bottom and on those two score lines and then I'll so have three pockets <laughs> so I've sewn all the way around like I said I would I've lined finished lining that and I have lined the back with the plain lace paper don't know if you can just see that lace and then this belly band here I've kept the back plain, no point uh, decorating for the sake of it, and then just lined there. Okay, so I've just measured it and then lined it. Now, not each one of these is exactly the same because, it, you know, I've scored it by hand. So just uh, be mindful and just measure each one roughly. So what we're going to put in here is some little tags and I've just made them really quickly out of some leftover cardstock. Now, I've worked out that a 2-inch tag will work perfectly fine and a two inch tag will also fit inside the stamping up tag punches so if you've got these that's useful if not just cut a two inch uh, by about I don't know what length is that by about roughly roughly speaking about three and three eighths just under three and a half Okay, so let me just punch this one. Just make them all more or less the same size. That's not the right size. I need to um, cut a piece to two inches. Cut a piece to two inches. 
roughly speaking by about, what did I say, about three and three eighths? One, two, three, roughly, then punch it. That's not two inches because it doesn't fit in my punch. There we go, that's better. I just cut it a little bit wonker. Stick it in and punch it. If you don't have fancy punches like that, all you need to do is just chop off the sides at an angle like a traditional tag shape. Okay, don't matter. Then I've just inked them. I will probably at some point put a little bit of stamping, like a little stamped number or something. But I don't want the video to be five hours long. <laughs> so I will typically, you know, just go and add little extra bits of detail when I've done the videos. Alright, right, I'm doing it quickly to try and, well, as quick as I can. So then you've got one, two, and three. Now you will notice that I've cut these wider than the panel. Okay? Just ever so slightly, and I've done that on purpose because when it's folded like so, then you'll see them three tags and it'll look cute, okay? You know you can put some little, whatever, some, um, what do you call it? This stuff. Baker's trying something on. Or you can just leave them as they are, or you could hangle, hang, hangle a dangle. You could hangle a dangle off one. <laughs> I'll probably stamp some numbers there later. Right, so what I've also done, um, and that will just flip, it will flip flat, flip flat. I can't speak. Right, so I've used the bottom half of the collage sheet that I used for here. I've just cut the bottom off and I've cut it in order like so and again I've just roughly measured by holding my paper against the panel marking with a pencil trimming off but for a rough idea they are about in length about four inches okay and then in width you need to they're going to be about two and seven eighths roughly that one's going to be ever so slightly smaller remember because we trimmed it off Okay, I've sewn all around those and I've lined them on some scrapbooking paper to make them more sturdy because the pockets. So I'm just going to just, and I'll probably finish it off later, I'll just run over the white sewing with my distressing. I'm not a massive fan of black thread in my journals. I don't know why, I like the sewing, I'm not a massive fan of black. I do use it. I've used all sorts of colours, not wrong with it, if that's what you like, just my personal preference. I'm not a massive fan. So I'm going to glue these pockets on, on three sides, staying as close to the edge as possible. Okay, by staying as close to the edge as possible, then I'm not using up space. Um, you know, I'm making it difficult to get my ephemera in the pockets. Okay. I have trimmed my most of the bits of sewing, you know, the tails, because and I've seen loads and they look really lovely with lots of like the cotton hanging down, but it, again, it's just not for me. For some reason, I, I just can't cope with it. My brain don't like it. <laughs> so I trim it. I trim it so that, for example, a lot of people would leave that hanging. I can't, um, my brain won't let me. <laughs> not that I'm a massively tidy person, but I don't know, I, I, it's just not for me. Okay. So, a little bit of glue and these fine glue, fine glue, oh, I can't speak, can I? Let's just give it up. Fine tipped glue bottles help you be more precise with your glue and also, you know, so you're not using as much, right? Just make sure that your pockets don't go anywhere near the folds when you're gluing them on. Now I glue them on, I sew around them and then glue them on rather than trying to sew through all that thickness. It can be too much, so I sew them separate and then add them on. Okay, it takes longer, but yeah, it, for me it's easier. Okay. 
Right, so get that on there. Remembering that this last section, your pocket's going to be narrower that way because we've trimmed that down so that when it folds, it don't catch. Right. I'm sorry if you can hear low mowers in the background. My next door neighbour's absolutely obsessed with his garden. And uh, I tried to wait until he'd done, but who knows how long he's going to be out there cutting it. This man's obsessed. But to be fair, if he's got lovely green grass, a man looks like a box of dried scabs. So there you go. It's, the grass is short, but it's uh, the, there's no green left. <laughs> the hot weather's had it. Right, so now what I'm doing. <laughs> Shut up, waffling. Uh, I've cut loads of ephemera from my kit and some of the smaller tags. So we can start and put some in the pocket. So okay, I would advise you wait until your glue's dried or else what can happen is you end up sticking your ephemera to your pocket. But um, me and patience, uh, I, it's not one of my virtues unfortunately. So I'm just hoping that they don't stick. So you know we've got some pretty ephemera there. You could even add a little pocket at the bottom there and, and do even more but I don't want it too bulky. I'm going to be putting loads of ephemera in this journal anyway. Then I've cut three of the tags, little small tags, so we'll put one in there. I've just literally cut them out of paper. I will be going, before this journal's sent off, I will go back and I will line these with book page to make them sturdier. In fact, I'm going to put that one in there. No, leave it. Leave it. That one in there. Okay. And then for the little, um, you know, thing is, I get the reinforcers here from Asda. Uh, cheap as chips and then just distressing them. So I'll put that one in there. That one in there. I'll line them with book page. Whether I'll put any thread round, I don't know. I might not because I don't want this to be too, you know, too bulky. Now this pocket's quite narrow, so... It should fit. It does. Alright, so we've got a large ephemera, tags, small ephemera. And we'll put that one in there. And we'll put that one in there. Okay, like I say, I'll go back and I will line them with um, book page. So then, obviously, you can put something there and something there. So that will go across like that, that will go across like that. Right, so what I'm going to do now, and because it will correspond with what I'm doing in my journal, I'm going to put two eyelets in there. Okay. She says. And just make sure I took my ephemera out of the way. So I'm going to put a hole there. Kind of central, want it? One there, and is that gonna infringe on my pocket? It won't infringe too much. Just lift my ephemera out of the way while I do this one. And one there, okay. Then I'm gonna grab my eyelets, which are. Oh, where are they? I don't know. Uh, what have I done with them? don't actually know what I've done with them. Oh, yes, I've just remembered. I had a bit of a tidy up the other day and I moved everything round and I moved these into the drawer underneath my desk so that I can get to them easier. So let's hope that these eyelets will be good and kind to me today. I'm just going to lift that ephemera out while I do it. Put one in there. No, it's not going to be nice to me. Oh, it's all squished. I always have this problem. I'm just going to add these eyelets off camera because I think the pressure of being on camera makes me do it wrong. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I've done them. Um, I don't know why, but every time I film and I do uh, the uh, eyelets, it all goes a little bit peaked on. 
And it, it, it never happens when I'm like sat here on my own and it's not important. Right, so I'm going to put some Baker's Twine now. And now this is purely decoration. You don't have to do this, but it just will make it coordinate with other things that I'm going to be doing in my journal. So I like to decorate some things in similar ways. That way you've got cohesiveness, as they call it. Yeah. Okay. I'll just tie that in a knot. Okay. So I'll tighten another knot, I'll tighten another knot. There we go. And then I'll just trim it. I'm not doing bows on camera either. <laughs> I'm not emotionally prepared to do bows on camera. Right, so that's that. So it's just a little bit of fancy, but also you can use that as a little tuck if you so wanted. Okay, like so. Yeah. Alright then. So if we just give it a bit more of a I think I might go back and just put a stitch down there um, when I've done because it will hold that pocket in a little bit firmer um, to tuck things in nicer so I might just run another stitch down there but I'll do that later so then I can fill my pocket back up okay. get in your slipper little sucker there we go there we go. Right, so how are we going to hold it all together? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> so, we've got our little tags here. And that will close like that. They're going to show there. We're going to do some stamping. Now, you could just slip that straight in a pocket, but, you know, it's never enough for me, is it? Now, I had these bags given to me by Eileen. Now, I don't know if it's going to work now because I've put them tags in, haven't I? I might just, i tell you what we'll do, I'm going to take the middle tag out and put something else in there. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in. For now, I'm going to put some of these little tickets, some of these little tickets in and stuff, yeah? Just for now, I'll replace them later. So I've changed my mind, so this little tag can go in one of these pockets here. I've changed my mind because I want that centre bit, I think I want it free to wrap that around. Now is that going to be too big? It's a little bit big but I like the colour of it and I like the fact that it's nice and soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it... So I've just fast forwarded this bit because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do and I faffed about a bit. Um, so I ended up using the like envelope, I sliced the top off which then gave me another two extra pocket opportunities and then once it's wrapped around and it's tied you can also tuck in the actual you know the back of the pocket so it's effectively giving us four extra pockets by doing this method there's always a method in my madness i don't do things for the sake of it i do it because i'm always thinking of extra places um to hide ephemera uh, because for me that is a fun part of junk journals so there you go <laughs> just trim her down Let's trim her down and we'll do some sort of cluster on the front here with this lady. Don't forget, if something doesn't suit or it's not right, you don't give up. You keep going until it works and that is just what you do. There's no right or wrong. Okay, there's no right or wrong in um, journal making. That's why I love it. Um, you know, card making, if you get a measurement wrong, you're a little bit snookered, you know. Things and folds go a certain way. It's as simple as that. Albums, you've got to get your measurement right or it doesn't close properly and this, that and other. Journals, you can please yourself. <laughs> Make it up as you go. Right, so we are going to... Make a bit of a cluster, so let me just rip some papers up. I don't really know what I'm doing. Again, we're making it on the on the on the fly, on the hop, which is how I like to create. Because at the end of the day, when you are creating, not everything you can't plan everything. It's impossible. Yeah, you just can't do it. Right, so I want that to about there. 
you just can't With a little bit of nice scrapbooking paper. We've got an, uh, you know, just for a bit of colour there. Don't know if I've got anything. Tell you what we'll do. I just want a bit of colour there, so I'm going to use this bit of ephemera to just give me a proper colour in this cluster. Okay. Get off, get off. colour there. We need the colour there to even out this. Yeah, alright. So. Let's get these layered up. So we're sticking the pink one onto the journal paper. Okay, and then the photo onto the layer of them both. Let's move that up a bit. Um, the photo wants to go about there, I think. <laughs> Not happy with that. Not happy with how that's layering. Hold on a minute. I need something, something else. So look at this lace. Need something else. Yep, there we go. So we're just going to layer this on a bit of this lace. Okay. I'm going to use fabric tap. If I've got any left, fabric tap down the centre of the photograph. Stick the lace on it. And that gives me some texture in my layer. I'll just get rid of that. Ugh. Yeah. And then that then will layer on there. Boom, we're good to go. All right, so let's, which way, that way. Get this lady glued on. I may well go back and add a ticket or a something or some stamped words or a little label, I don't know. I'm keep trying to keep it minimal so that, as I say, probably the video is already about five million years long, but never mind. Okay, and we've got a nice little cluster there. I might just tuck something just underneath there. Ooh, I've blobbed glue everywhere. That's not good. Okay, I've got glue everywhere. Right, and then we will, I will glue. Oh, uh, this is why I stopped using this glue because it was made in, and I've added acetate to it and all the other hints and tips that people gave me, and it doesn't seem to uh, make much of a muchness. So. But it is fab. Right, so now I'm going to add that onto there. And that just finishes that off. And what I'll probably do, I've not got one to hand, but I will stamp a little 
number ticket and stick it under there okay to finish it off don't think I've got any laying about on my desk ever let's have a look I've got anything in here do, do, do. we could have that word on as well I try to avoid putting too many words in my journals I find it um, I don't know I think I want it in cream card and I don't think I've got one what's that? Oh, there's a little number there well that'll do <laughs> I don't know where that's come from that'll do that will do put a little number onto the bag like so, just peeking out and then we can put glue on there now because I've, I'm happy with it and get that glued down. Uh, do I want some washer? Quite like some washy on there. Let's have a look what we've got. Let's have some of this. I've not put any... Oh, I'll have these numbers. I was going to go for a, a butterfly one, but... I'm trying not to just stick butterflies on everything. It gets a bit tedious. Much as I love them. I love butterflies. But I don't want to put them on every project. <laughs> right, so there we go. That's our finished project now. Um, so that will... Undo, like so. You've got a pocket in the top there. Where have my tag? So don't forget, you can slip something down the back. You can put something in that top pocket, something in that pocket, and then it will unfasten and open up, um, as you've seen, as I've been creating it. I'm not going to waffle on any longer. Go and give it a try. I hope you like the idea, and thanks for watching. Links to all of the digitals are in the description box below. Take care. Bye.